Okay, let's talk about elements and compounds. Everything around us that has mass and takes up space is matter, including yourself. Atoms of an element are the building blocks which make up matter or makes up everything. When we look at the periodic table, we see that there are over 100 boxes called element cards. These boxes represent individual elements like aluminum or gold, helium or silicone. Elements are represented by a symbol, which is one or two letters. The first letter will always be a capital letter. As we see in aluminum, the A is capital, the L is lowercase. Gold, the A is capital, the U is lowercase. If we had hydrogen, it would just be a capital letter. But the first letter will always be a capital letter. Elements are made up of only one kind of element. Excuse me, elements are made up of only one kind of atom. Let's look at these Legos. Each color will represent a different element. The blue represents hydrogen, and the white represents oxygen. Each element is represented by its own unique atom or color. If we put two of the hydrogen atoms together, we still have the, the element hydrogen, right? It's just two atoms of hydrogen, but they are the same. If we chemically bond the hydrogen and the oxygen elements, we form a compound which is matter made up of two or more elements and it cannot be separated by physical means. So H2O, when we bring two hydrogens together with an oxygen, we get water. I cannot take this water in my hand and physically pull out the hydrogens and pull out the oxygens with my hands. I can't physically do that. So this is a compound when we have two or more elements. To help us determine if we are looking at an element or a compound, we can count the number of capital letters in the formula. So if we look up here, in gold, this is an element. There's only one capital letter. Aluminum, there's only one capital letter. But if we come down here to the compounds, you can see there's a capital H and a capital O. So these, this tells me this is a compound because there are two or more capital letters. Same thing with carbon dioxide. We have a capital C and a capital O. And then for salt, we have a capital N, lowercase a, capital C. So that tells me there are two or more elements because there are two or more capital letters.